Yeah. Today we will see the midenarquate ligament syndrome. What is this midenarquate ligament and what is the syndrome? This is the complete thoracic cage, the heart is pulsating. You can see the diaphragm here and I will enlarge the view here. So I want to see the under surface of the diaphragm. So this is the under surface of the diaphragm. This is the central tendon here. The central tendon is the diaphragm is fixed to the vertebral column by strong ligaments and strong muscles. The muscle strips they are called as the crura. The crura are uh, this is the right crura and this is the left crura. And in between the two crurae there is a ligament, a very strong ligament. This is the ligament, this yellow. So this is the median arquette ligament syndrome. So we will see for our knowledge what is the medial and lateral ligament. So this is the medial ligament here and this is the lateral ligament of the arquette ligament. So this is the median arquette ligament syndrome. So what is the significance of this particular ligament? This is one of the very tough uh, structure of the diaphragm. And because of this tough structure, the diaphragm is attached to the vertebral column posteriorly. And this is the aorta. Aorta is descending in between the two crura and uh, it is going below the median arquette ligament. And this is the first branch of the aorta. I will tilt the view. This is the first branch of the aorta that is called as the celiac trunk. And the celiac trunk immediately bifurcates into three, the left gastric artery, the hepatic artery and the splenic artery. So what happens in median arquette ligament syndrome? I will take some help of the tools, select the pain and what happens in this median arquette ligament syndrome? This first branch of the aorta, it originates below the arquette ligament. So the arquette ligament comes like this. Okay. And it compresses the celiac trunk. So this is the thick arquette ligament and it is compressing the celiac trunk completely. So the angle between this angle between the origin of the celiac trunk and the aorta, this angle, this angle decreases. It goes towards the aorta. So usually this is perpendicular to the, uh, perpendicularly it is originating from the aorta. But it is compressed because of the ligament. So obliquity and compression of the ligament gives rise to compromised blood supply to all these three branches of the celiac trunk. And because of this ischemic area, the area which is supplied by the celiac trunk, the liver, the stomach, pancreas, spleen, these are completely becoming ischemic. And therefore, it leads to various uh, constellation of symptoms and that is called as median arquette ligament syndrome.